So this will load as our main data in Excel. So the next thing is we need to create the data model. Now to create the data model, go to insert and we'll use what is called a pivot table. So click on it and then click OK. So the first thing we want to do is to check the total number of employees. Pay attention to this part where you have all the columns in your table and you have filter, column, row and value. Now you can put anything in column and row and it will be arranged just how you want to view it but you only pay attention to values if you want to do an aggregation maybe you want to count you want to do add you want to do average we bring those items to values then here we can use to filter what we need and what we don't need in this case we want to count the number of employees using their id so just drag id to values it will give you 222,214, which is the number we've been working with it is correct now we quickly prepare the data for our dashboard also so come down here so just reference this cell by doing equal to a4 then we uh, format this to number use the 1000 separator and set it to zero the next model we want to create is the attrition and instead of creating a new model we can just copy this model and paste it here we want to do attrition versus count of id good people that are due to leave the company 6850 6, and people that are still in the company with no attrition is 15,000 and all that we can also format this number number formats we can do equal to the name of this cell is f4 equal to f4 and then we can take it down we have this as the total as a number then the sum of this number equal to sum we bring these two numbers and then we enter okay and we can also create the percentage of this and we see this is equal to the percentage will be this divided by the sum just hit f4 to lock it this will give us this and we can simply convert this to percentage No decimal okay we can represent this using a chart so click on any of the data points and then go to analyze and we need a pivot chart a pivot chart we use a pie chart we use a donut chart because we want to use it in, as one of our kpis okay we don't need all these buttons so remove hide all the buttons delete and then delete we'll work on this later in the main dashboard we'll have this which we will use the next item we will need copy this again let's paste here this time we will need the average age of employees so we can get the average age from here instead of attrition here what we need here is the age range so we need the age range good so we just format it number format and we format it to number by 1000 and it gives us this i come to this point and i do equal so this is 04 okay and I simply drag it down if i drag this this way it will give me this I drag it this way to give me this okay for this we can simply use a column chart to represent this we don't need the numbers we don't need this we don't need the line so just click on the line and remove it and let's add data fields to them and data levels to it we don't need this point here, we don't need the total. Okay, we also need the average age. So we'll paste this here. Let me also name this total staff attrition. This is attrition rate staff by age range 
number of staff, number of staff by age range. And this one is to give us the average age of employees. So click on this. And in this case, we don't need employee ID, we don't need age range, we just need new age. Okay, this is the total age, but we need the average age of employees. So click on average and click OK. So the average age is 39.1. So let's format it number formats. Let's use number without the decimal place. So the average age is 39 years. Next thing, we want to work on the attrition per department. Let's copy this and paste here. So in this case, we need departments down here. We have the departments. And we also need to remove the average age. We need the employee ID. And in this case, we need a filter. And the filter is the attrition. So the filter was standing as the attrition. Click on this drop down and click on the plus sign. And attrition is yes. You click on OK, 6000. So we format this to number. And we say, OK, this particular column we can also sort it from largest to smallest okay for this age we need a reference cell for this age i hope it will be this one equal to this is v this is v4 okay so in this one we can use a with charts let's see now the lines are bent, so we can use a bar graph. Okay, so we can use a bar graph, and um, to change the figure, we can sort it in the reverse from highest to lowest. Okay, good. We remove all this, we don't need this. Hide all field settings, delete, delete this number, delete this one. If I click on this and then say. Have data labels. Okay, so it seems engineering they have the highest number of persons living. So delete the total. Good attrition by department. Copy this, paste again. Okay, this I want to do attrition by gender. So we'll bring the ID here, and we bring the gender here. So this gives us this number formats into numbers, move the decimal places, and we need a filter which is the attrition. Okay, and Okay, so we have the attrition and we can as well use a design, we can use a pie charts as a clan. Okay, so the pie charts can do this, remove and delete and delete. We'll edit them later. So copy this and click on the next one. So we take off gender, attrition by location. Let's see the location. Okay, so we have some persons working in the headquarters and then some persons working remotely. So we can take this and simply analyze it using a chart. The chart will be okay. We can as well change it to a donut chart. OK. 
Okay, so this is attrition by location. Okay, so we can add here Okay, we can do attrition by race. We can do attrition by race. Okay, so we add the race here. Good. And we can sort this from largest to smallest. And we can use a let's use a colon charts. Yeah. Okay. Can add the data labels on top of it. Okay. Attrition by race. Okay. Okay. So let's have this here. And in this case, we want to use. Um, Want to do attrition by state? By state, let's see what if we bring in a map here. You can't create a map using pure charts. If you click on this, you can't go here and then you'll not see a map as one of the options. I need to link this. This is BT6. So let's start from there, equal to BT6. And we we'll take it this way and we'll take it down to this. Good. We can create a map using this good inserts and then click on maps. Okay, good. Okay, so the first thing we want to zoom, we don't want these other areas, we just want only this map area to show. So right click on the map and go to format data series. And in the series options, the map area is set to automatic set it to only region with data it will adjust automatically um, the map labels you can turn on the map labels the colors will set the colors to three we'll do further editing with the colors later but let's just set it to three here okay so we have the map we don't need the series we don't need the title Okay, another thing we need to do with the map is we need to also connect this map with this other table, with the pivot table. So right click on the map and go to select data. Now, with the select data option selected, just come here, select the table, and then click OK. It will restructure. So we'll just go back and do this again, format this. Click on the map and then change it again to only region and then best fit. Okay, we have these charts that we can use in our dashboard and in our design. So let's get into the dashboard of our work. So we'll call this the rename it to the model, analyze and visualize data, MEV data. 